This conference will now be recorded. Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to Isha Training Solutions. We will wait for two minutes for other learners to join. Uh, we'll wait for two minutes and then we'll start our discussion. Uh, two minutes we'll wait. Uh, thanks for joining, guys. We'll wait for two minutes and then we'll start our discussion. Thank you. Hello, Shavan sir, uh, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, Ranjit. Okay. okay. Once again, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to Isha Training Solutions. So in our yesterday's session, we started and we discussed about uh, the course content, what we are going to cover. Uh, I'll quickly complete the remaining uh, part that we are going to cover and then we'll start our day one uh, discussion also. So yesterday we were discussing about uh, this uh, deployment of our installation of one agent. I told you, not only Dynatrace tool, every APM tool working in the same concept, I mean, in web server, app server, DB server, you need to install the agent. The agent will take care of the rest, uh, rest of the activity. I mean, monitoring your web server, monitoring your app server, monitoring your DB server, all those things agent will do. Okay. So in Dynatrace also, we are going to discuss about how to install the agent. In Dynatrace, that agent name is actually called as one agent the name of the agent is actually one agent how you are going to install the one agent and how one agent how it is actually monitoring all your uh, servers that is what we are going to discuss in our regular sessions okay and then the first and very important uh, coverage is actually front end monitoring front end monitoring why i'm saying this is very very important uh, I hope in this forum, some performance testers who are already doing performance testing, uh, I, I know that uh, they, are do, they are doing server level performance testing, server level performance testing. They are not actually focusing on the UI or the front end level detail. That is the reason I'm saying this front end monitoring is actually very, very important. What is this front end monitoring? As a end user, when you are accessing your application in your client, for example, your browser. In browser, when you are accessing your application, how your application is actually loading. That you wanted to measure it. Okay, your, your page painting, page rendering, how it is loading in the browser. 
that you wanted to measure it that you are going to use this front end monitoring because the performance testers i mean those who are doing performance testing i'm saying the performance testers those who are doing performance testing right they are focusing more on server level data not on the client side or the ui level data they are not focusing on all the uh, traffic whatever they are capturing is all server level okay maybe i'll explain in a pictorial representation so that you guys will understand what i'm trying to say so please stop me at any point of time you feel like this is this point you did not understand and i'll, I'll explain in a detailed way also so when you are doing things manually when you are doing things manually what we will do example this is browser okay manually when i'm i'm, I'm trying to do something in browser i am going to access example www.google.com or or whatever okay facebook.com whatever the website that i am hitting in the browser that request will go to your server okay this is a request this is a request that i am sending from the browser and that will go to your server okay in my case i am i am holistically saying server but internally it will go to web server app server db server everything okay so it will go to the server and server will process your request and that is going to provide some response okay from the server what you are getting it is actually a response okay response means what www.google.com means the google.com related information you are getting it as a response okay so that information you are going to display in the browser this is what you are doing it manually when you are doing things manually this is what is actually happening okay when you are doing manually browser sending the request going to server getting back your response and response is actually displayed in the browser that is what when you are doing things manually okay same thing the performance testers i mentioned right uh, those who are doing performance testing performance testers what they will do they they will record the script usually how they will work is that they'll record the script Re record the script is nothing but capturing the traffic they'll always capture the traffic what traffic a traffic which is going between your browser and the server okay performance testers usually will capture the traffic between your browser and the server example how it is actually happening example they are keeping the tool in the middle they are keeping the tool in the middle it is actually man in the middle acts like a proxy server example in our case i am i am going to explain with uh, uh, industry familiar open source tool called jmeter apache jmeter okay so i am keeping this tool in the middle this tool acts like a proxy server acts like a proxy server okay so how performance testers they usually record this traffic so same thing they are going to do something in the browser your tool will capture the traffic between your browser and the server that is how it is actually working not only this tool every performance testing tool it is actually working in the same way so in this example what we are doing we are keeping jmeter in the middle and we are going to perform that an activity in the browser and that request response is actually going to capture in the apache jmeter tool that's how in industry right now all performance testers they are working all performance testers they are working in the same way only okay what will happen from browser you are going to hit the traffic the request is actually going from browser what jmeter tool will do it will take request copy it will take request copy okay because the request is actually going via your proxy server the request is actually going via your proxy server that time what your jmeter tool is actually doing it is taking a copy of the request that is actually going from your browser to server it is taking the copy of the request okay that request is actually going to the server then your server is actually processing the request the response is actually coming that time what this tool again it is doing 
it is taking the response copy also it is taking the response copy also okay it is taking the response copy and then the response is actually going to your browser so all the performance testers in the world whenever they are trying to do web application performance testing that time this is how they are capturing the traffic this is how they are capturing the traffic this is actually called as proxy recording they call that as proxy recording so this is happening during the recording time right whatever i mentioned it is all during the recording time what we are doing we are accessing the browser browser is sending the request tool is also capturing the request and request is actually processed by the server server is actually sending the response tool is actually capturing a copy of the response finally the response is actually reaching to the browser this is what manually happening this is what manually it is actually happening okay once the recording is actually done using performance testing tool actual recording is actually done next what we will do we will replay the script and we want to make sure the script is actually working as expected or what the script is working as expected or what for that what we have to do we have to replay the script and then validate the script we have to replay the script and then validate the script while replaying the script what is actually happening while replaying the script actually the tool is already having the copy of the request the tool is already having the copy of the request so what this tool will do it will fire this request to the server it will fire this request to the server what is already copied in the tool right because tool already captured the traffic tool already captured the traffic that captured traffic it is actually triggering so this request is actually going to the server so what your server will do as usual it will process the request and it will send the response it will send the response this is actually what what this response this is actually a replay response this is actually a replay response okay so your tool is actually replaying that and then it is sending the replay response you are already having one response which is captured in the tool and this is actually a replay response so based on this recorded response and replay response your script will say whether it is actually passed or failed <laughs> the script will say whether it is actually passed or failed during the replay jmeter will will get one response right replay response and it will say with the current current recorded response and replay response the tool will say the script is actually passing or failing the script uh, the, the script is actually passing or failing so if you look at the current example that i explained right now the tool is actually sending the request server is actually sending the response and you are comparing or you are understanding your current response and your recorded response and based on that you are taking a decision whether the script is actually passed or failed if you look at this example this entire layer this entire layer is actually completely missing this entire layer is actually completely missing because the tool itself is actually triggering the request getting the response all those activities are actually performed in the tool itself so this entire browser layer is actually missing so why i am explaining this because your performance testing tool that to when you are capturing the traffic in http traffic level the one that i am telling right this is actually the http traffic okay when you are when you are capturing your web application traffic that to in the http protocol level you are missing one complete layer which is the browser layer in that case what is our understanding guys whatever the response time that we are receiving which is actually missing your browser numbers okay browser numbers in the in the sense like simulation of your browser simulation of your browser your page painting page rendering all all kind of uh, things that are slightly missing in the http protocol because you are only focused on http loading time only 
HTTP loading time only you are you are focused on. You are not focusing on the browser layer at all. So now you come back. You come back to Dynatrace topic. Why I mentioned this front end measurement is actually very very important because right now the tool is actually lagging in that. I mean performance testing tool I'm saying, and customer they are expecting you to provide end to end response time. Inclusive of browser loading, rendering, page painting, all those things, customer they are expecting. If you are not providing that, there is a delta that is small. Small delta is actually missing. Your your client side number is actually missing. You are only providing the HTTP level or server level details only to the customer. But nowadays customers are actually expecting you to provide end to end response time. That is the reason I am saying. Dynatrace that to this particular capability is actually very very useful. You are going to get the response time inclusive of your browser level data, your client side level data. You are going to get it. Okay, and also I mean I don't know how many of your organization they are asking single user performance testing results or or I don't know in how many of your organization they are asking you to provide lighthouse, lighthouse or depth tools or GT metrics. or uh, uh, web page test those kind of a tool uh, they are asking you to use but those tools also providing the same numbers i mean you are you are client side measurement numbers right you are going to get it if you are using those tools also so that is the reason i am specifically saying in dynatrace this particular topic this front end monitoring topic is actually very 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 important and we are going to discuss in a very very detailed way like how we are going to monitor using agent how you are going to monitor using agentless and there are uh, other capabilities that are available in uh, dynatrace which is actually api and then what is session replay how how uh, individual session is actually captured as a video or how individual sessions are actually captured as kind of sub classification so so all those things we are going to discuss in our front end monitoring topic I'll take a pass here, guys. Any question till now? Sir, I have a one question. Uh, can you go to that architecture that you have graphical presentation? Yeah, Ranjit. Paint is. So for uh, in JMeter tool, we will have one a request copy script and a response copy script predefined. I mean, we have to define it before uh, executing uh, the request and those things, right? no when you are recording when you are recording in jmeter these two will be available jmeter basic functionality is it is going to capture the traffic okay that traffic is nothing but the request and response that is what i am trying to say okay okay yeah. so i didn't get actually that re replay response and response copy i mean what uh, how they are linked during, with each other during during I mean? recording during recording one particular log in jmeter we will capture during recording that is actually the uh, yes. recorded response during replay mm -hmm. we will we will get response and we are going to compare whether uh, during recording how the particular request is actually passed and during replay how the request is actually passed like that we can check it. that is what i'm trying to say okay yeah so so dynatrace front end monitoring means this is jmeter is part of them right front end no. monitoring no no jmeter is lagging that okay. capability that is available in dynatrace that is what i'm saying okay okay i mean jmeter also needed to uh, need to we need to learn also uh see that is a different tool altogether for the example purpose i'm saying those who are using jmeter right now whatever the measurement that they are getting in that measurement this particular metric is not available that is what i'm trying to say okay yeah got it so this um, topic saruna yes hello mukesh yes see okay. in uh, see i am not from the testing background but yeah uh, from the tools perspective or the apm perspective the way we you know uh, see it like a, it's a kind of a real user monitoring right that's what you are trying to explain yes but yes, that is... but when we are doing it uh, we we are where we are you know beta with any reference we are not doing that we are just capturing the real time response right there is no comparison happening in the real time right sorry sorry uh... 
uh, could you please repeat your question i did saying, uh, i'm saying in case of real user monitoring we are just capturing the user response right user response uh, on you know multiple di- uh, different uh, type of devices different type of browser on the different yeah yeah that is actually the real user it's, capture it's right it's actually not comparing anything like uh, like you are explaining no no so we are not comparing it with anything right there is no reference no. point for comparison right actually this example yeah this example that i mentioned is actually for the performance testing tool okay i'm saying in dynatrace you are going to get that additional metric which is the front end level data also that is what i'm trying to say okay this this example why, why i explain those who are coming from the testing background what they are thinking all these days is that whatever the result that we are getting it in jmeter which is the true response time but it is not it is not a true response time some delta is actually missing which is the yeah, yeah, definitely re- that's not it yeah yeah which Correct. is the uh, front end data that i'm trying to explain okay got it got it so as uh, he rightly mentioned front end monitoring in other terms that is actually a real user traffic also real user monitoring and uh, actually saying uh, each tool they are using one one word in in app dynamics it is actually user experience okay user experience or end user experience whatever uh, real user traffic all those things are actually uh, implicitly measuring this uh, uh, client side data only okay so maybe while ex- i am explaining uh, this uh, browser browser word i'm i'm using people will will get confused like what he is actually trying to say in jmeter or any tool also uh, the front end url is actually captured the javascript is actually captured css is actually captured gif, GIF file is actually captured i don't know what he is actually trying to explain okay so if you look at this is isha website okay this is isha website okay this page this image is there right isha making making it easy okay so if i copy image address okay right click copy image address if i open a new tab and then paste it so if you look at it i'm i'm talking about those who are already using jmeter as a performance testing tool for others leave it it's not going to add a value to you but those who are already doing performance testing using jmeter or load runner or neo load tools you know in that tool this is how the traffic will be captured look at here this is actually capturing one particular image url okay traffic capture right now i explain right traffic capture so example once the request is actually captured in jmeter in load runner in neo load whatever the tool while you are trying to do replay while you are trying to do replay what will happen it will replay like this so what is happening guys anybody can comment on this what is actually happening what is happening what i did it what is actually happening in the screen you guys can correlate the information any inference you are able to get it so actually i copied that image from the left corner in the website but when i am loading it it is actually loading in the center so even even it, you are thinking that performance testing tool is actually loading this image url or css url javascript url and all but it is not really loading it okay it is actually it is not true representation right because in in your actual website that content is actually somewhere but while you are loading it is actually loading somewhere so tool is not having the brilliance to say where the content is available what the content is actually uh, in in what color what shape what position no your performance testing tool will not do that kind of a brilliance so that is what i'm trying to say your performance testing tool when you are doing performance testing it is not actually going to simulate like a browser okay it is only going to load the url that's all okay that is the reason i'm saying all these are examples okay all these are examples that is the reason i'm saying when you are using these apm tools apm tools are actually providing this 
ஃப்ரண்ட் அண்ட் டேட்டா ஆர் கிளைண்ட் சைட் டேட்டா ஆர் எண்ட் யூசர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் டேட்டா ஆர் யூசர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் டேட்டா ஆர் ரியல் யூசர் மானிட்டரிங் டேட்டா வாட் எவர் யூ கால் தட் ஆஸ் பட் வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் அ டீடைல்டு இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு த ப்ரௌசர் டேட்டா வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு த ப்ரௌசர் டேட்டா ஸோ இன் இன் டைனட்ரேஸ் தட் கேன் பி அச்சீவ்ட் மல்டிபிள் வேஸ் ஏஜென்ட் லெவல் விச் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் யூஆர் ஒன் ஏஜென்ட் இட் செல்ஃப் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ஹேவிங் தட் கேப்பபிலிட்டி தட் இஸ் அ ஃபஸ்ட் திங் அண்ட் தென் one agent that is agent level right there are organizations there are organizations if they are not allowing you to install the one agent in your web server or or your web app server okay there are organization if they are not allowing there is one more concept called agentless monitoring agentless monitoring that is a second type so i am going to explain how agentless monitoring happening okay uh, with with practical example we will look into it okay agentless monitoring so agent monitoring agentless monitoring both the things we are going to discuss actually this is one of the uh, certification question also okay uh, i mean they will ask like uh, if if they are not allowing you to install the one agent in web server what option available the answer is actually agentless monitoring so like that okay so so agent monitoring is one type agentless monitoring is another type and then dynatrace they are providing one additional capability which is the rest api concept rest api api actually that is actually called as api what dynatrace they are providing they are they are having certain set of apis environmental apis and configuration api okay set of api those api associated to certain functionality you can you can perform certain functionality i am going to show you what is that and one example also we are going to look into that we will do in our regular session also how api is actually working why we are looking into this nowadays every tool nowadays every tool they are they are bringing this kind of a new new features right i mean they are exposing their functionality in the format of apis not only dynatrace everybody is actually doing neoload is doing load runner is doing every tool they are exposing their functionality in the format of apis okay if you are simply executing the api you are going to achieve certain functionality that is the outcome okay if you are simply executing the functionality uh, sorry api you are going to achieve certain functionality that is the reason behind using this uh, apis uh, concept okay so which means dynatrace is also they are having this environmental api and configuration api in that during our regular session i'll explain one api through that i'll show you how to create an application in dynatrace how to create an application in dynatrace and there is something called session replay so that is also i'm going to explain like uh, dynatrace is actually having one capability to record your activities as a video all your activity whatever you are performing in the application right that is actually captured as a video so that you can play and see like what activity you exactly performed at the moment of the time which is showing the degradation in the performance okay there is a degradation in the performance you wanted to understand what activity that you performed that you can use this session replay video you can look into that and there is something called user session earlier it was called as user session now they change the name to session segmentation that individual session level how you are going to analyze it using dynatrace and they added a new tab called metrics they added a new tab called metrics in yesterday session also i i mentioned one word i i don't know you guys uh, observed or what there is something called observability observability okay so observability is a buzzword in the market now i don't know how many of you heard that word at least before but the 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 market is actually moving towards that probably you guys also should learn about observability what observability is doing what are all the key things that you have to measure it how to implement observability all those things you should know okay as a starting point we are going to discuss that topic also in our course content okay so observability what is observability based on the external output based on the external output 
you are going to comment on the internal part of the application okay that is the plain vanilla theoretical definition okay based on the external output whatever you are getting you are going to comment on the internal part of the application that internal part is nothing but your application is working good working bad those are the things so what is that external output what we are referring as external output the external output is nothing but metrics i'll i'll write it down maybe okay in short they call that as melt okay okay maybe i'll start from beginning when observability term started coming into the market right initially they call that as metrics logs trace okay these are the words that they use so they call that as three pillars three pillars of observability like that they used to call three pillars of observability earlier okay some one and a half year two years before right so they they used to call that as three pillars metrics logs trace but now they added one more thing also in the middle so which is actually metrics events logs traces so so that is actually shortly called as melt so now these are the external output based on whatever you are receiving from the application metrics events logs traces with this information you are going to comment on the internal part of the application what is your internal part of the application your application is actually having issue or it is healthy it is working good working bad you are going to comment based on these information metrics events logs trace so that is the reason dynatrace they added this particular tab newly they added this tab newly into dynatrace okay they added this tab newly actually saying whatever the information that are available in metrics tab it is available in other tabs also in different form and shape in different form and shape it is actually available in different tabs also but they added a dedicated tab called metrics because dynatrace they are promoting their name in the market like they are having the observability implementation platform observability implementation platform so dynatrace is actually a observability platform so that is the reason they added this new tab which is the metrics tab okay so that also we are going to discuss in our regular session and then slo okay this is something this is also uh, they added uh, separately in the recent times in dynatrace they added slo i don't know uh, how, how many of you are uh, working along with the a uh, team called sre team sre site reliability engineering team so that is also buzzword in the market how i mentioned for observability right sre is also very specialized job role in the market right now uh, and wonderful opportunity also those who are having that uh, capability or are working experience they are having a bright future in the market as well sre so one of the activity performed by sre is actually definition of slo and sli okay they will define slo and sli okay service level objective service level in indicator or certain cases service level agreement also okay so we are going to discuss about slo means what how you are going to define slo in dynatrace also in a detailed way and then a very very important capability dashboards dashboards how to create dashboard in dynatrace right so that we are going to discuss because in industry right now whenever you are going for any interview or any any job uh, interview you are going people are asking like have you ever uh, done uh, dashboard creation what are all the important dashlets you will add it in the dashboard like that they are started asking so so we will discuss that in the detailed way as well and then very very important topic which is problem analysis topic why specifically we are using dynatrace for this particular reason only the root cause analysis or problem analysis how you are going to do it using dynatrace two major example we are going to discuss one is cpu saturation and long garbage collection definitely during interview people will ask like what are all the problem that you faced uh, when you are monitoring using dynatrace so the answer to that question is actually these two examples only long garbage collection cpu saturations are the problem 
so we will discuss with example uh, during our regular session also and integration say th where there is a problem you are getting some problem how you are going to notify to the end user end user how they will understand that there is a problem in the application so we are going to discuss about email integration and slack integration both integration things we are going to discuss okay and then there are additional capabilities like memory dump i mean memory dump is nothing but heap dump analysis and then process crashes means what cpu level analysis how you are going to do it these three are kind of value add topic and then synthetic monitoring uh, in the earlier discussions i told you right something called real user monitoring very very important topic real user monitoring similarly okay instead of manually doing there is something a job or automated process through which you are doing the front end measurement right that is actually called as synthetic monitoring synthetically or robotically whatever you call that as okay so synthetic monitoring is also very very important topic we are going to discuss okay and then something called management zone management zone is nothing but individual uh, app level process level host level you can you can divide your control so that is also we are going to discuss and two major topics process monitoring and service monitoring okay uh, the two service monitoring is very very important these many options that are available in in dynatrace to do your root cause analysis different 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 options that are there in dynatrace to do your root cause analysis everything we are going to discuss in a detailed way with example and then database monitoring means what host monitoring means what network monitoring means what okay and then technologies process what are all the things that are monitored in dynatrace and I, as i told you observability basics that is also i'm going to cover and then tool integration how to integrate your performance testing tools like load runner and jmeter into dynatrace i mean i am running a test in load runner i am running a test in jmeter how to get that data in dynatrace and and small tips and tricks and real world example also we are going to discuss all these topics are part of our uh, course content everything we are going to learn in a practical way as well guys i'll take a pass here guys any question till now sarvana one question you were referring the sre job role guys uh, i have seen couple of jds and by looking at this uh, at that jds it looks like, like you know you need to know everything like you know uh, each and every stuff of a, of a complete devops cycle is it like it is expected to be done by a single person or how how basically you know uh, that whole job cycle basically you know uh, works actually yeah actually expectation is different reality is different right maybe people will will put everything as a single person but i don't think right now uh, all things are done by a single person no it's a team okay uh, they call that a squad right so the squad of or our pod whatever okay that the team is actually doing that okay and probably over the period of time people will cross skill up skill and then they they'll do a multiple skills also but but right now i don't think everybody or everything is actually done by the single people the expectation may be that but uh, uh, I don't think people are skilled enough to do all those things by a single person, Mukesh. That's right. You see, I come from a tools background. I think tools is just one of the component of that whole SRE cycle, right? Hmm. So see, earlier I, that was called as infrastructure monitoring. Of... Yeah, yeah, please. Right. So I have tried uh, one interview, I believe, but in that place they were expecting like you need to know each and everything. You you have to be expert in all area. I said, sorry, it's not possible. At least between. Ah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah. So actually, so, that is why uh, I was actually uh, confused that what actually is the JD or job requirement as part of the SRE profile. So since you said, uh, who, anyways, we can discuss that who, later or maybe in your, you know, another uh, session uh, or the yeah, demo session. Yeah, sure, Mukesh. But it's fine. Yeah, sure, sure, Mukesh. Yeah. So, guys, those who wanted to enroll for this course journey, uh, you can reach out to Kumar sir. This is Kumar sir number. Okay, nine seven zero one five seven one five eight one. Okay, nine seven zero one. I'll copy paste this number in the chat as well. Ah, uh, seven sir. Yeah, 
this trinatris is completely new for me so this uh, content i mean this syllabus the topics you are going to cover it looks a little bit uh, difficult for me so how i mean how will you teach in future i mean will it be from very scratch and uh, basic level that i can grab it easily or you will uh, you will, will definitely it bounce? you will definitely grab it uh, uh, ranjit probably with the topic you may not understand what is there in the in the uh, actual discussion right but during our regular yes. discussions you will get everything okay this is just okay. a synopsis yeah, that we I, are giving that this is what we are covering but during our regular session you will get everything but i'll 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 tell you one more thing also if it is not uh, as expected by you please feel free to uh, talk to me or call me uh, offline also or during the session also i'll i'll uh, dedicatedly uh, spend the time to explain with a different example or additional example okay okay, okay thank you thank you yeah. yeah sure sir one one more question which Any... i practically face just a minute oh, sorry, okay I'll, i'll logically complete this question and then we'll come here uh, uh, any new course or something you are going ranjit definitely there will be a, a blind spot or or unknown things will be there for sure but once you are slowly uh, into that and then learning things you will be familiar with those terms and terminologies and technical jargons and everything so definitely you will get that uh, understanding when you are going for the session oh. okay 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 thank you thank you sir for your moral yeah. support yeah sure yeah mukesh you you ask your question now yeah so regarding this you know apm tool and using that in the real time okay so see uh, i and uh, i understand you know that uh, we, the environments where we basically you we use it and all but while actually working for the you know the application monitoring since i am not from the application monitoring background sometimes i face you know issue in explaining you know the low level details which you know the some you know, application team basically you know look for so i don't know if you can provide guidance while during the co- course that you know how should we should overcome uh, overcome that part yeah that that while while i'm explaining itself you will get to know most of the things uh, uh, mukesh like what is actually people are expecting uh, what what expected uh, outcome that you have to share it to them usually why we are doing this activity kind of things and all we will discuss okay that time maybe we, whatever the uh, uh, questions that you are having we will discuss in detail uh, mukesh okay no worries so yeah. for example in the past i have shared the heap dump you know clr dump uh, clr things and all but <laughs> developers were kind how how i will consume this i don't know you tell me from your tools perspective that where is the real root cause so i did not have answer like that you know at that point of time or even now also i don't have you know enough clarity on those part because they're expecting See. everything to be done from our end and give them the spoon feed you know uh, so that they can you know uh, work on the real issue yeah, that is a usual developer game right uh, i mean uh, if you are there in the industry for a decade probably you would have uh, uh, sensed their pulse they usually buy time or uh, that to uh, the moment when you are telling this problem statement if it is closer to the release milestone you know they'll they'll simply say i don't know who you are because they want they'll simply say uh, for certain reason because they have to send the application to the production uh, they don't want to spend time in fixing this or doing the debugging and all so that is that is usual uh, thing my my own sister is actually a developer i know how how uh, they usually react to the testers uh, statements be it like any tester so manual tester automation tester performance tester whenever they are saying any problem statement they'll say is it i never encountered this thing i never seen this problem this is problem to you only i'm going to production so that is how uh, they'll react that to if you are so saying sarvana will we will we get to a situation where we can you know really explain them each and everything i don't think that we will have that capability to you know uh drill down to each and every memory dump and heap dump and something like that you know to that extent the answer that but, we are looking for but when you are doing is important right if you are doing early in the cycle possible when you are doing late in the cycle nobody will will care about that right like uh, so you think you think from a, a performance perspective okay uh, uh, i think is actually taking 10 seconds and you are saying that there is a problem and they are trying to fix the issue after fixing it it will come down to 6 seconds from 10 seconds to 6 seconds but what they will say you know right now we are okay to go with 10 seconds itself thank you bye bye that is what they'll say because 
they right. because either it is a skill set of the person or it is a time taking procedure both the things are actually there maybe the person to whom you are interacting they are not skilled enough to understand the language that you are talking that is first the other one is they don't want to take that late time stories they don't want to take the risk if, since because if you are implementing some performance fix maybe it is actually breaking the functionality also so they don't want to do that so that, those are uh, factors that are there probably during our regular sessions like i'll also pitch in like how uh, it will usually happen and those things also we'll discuss uh, mukesh okay definitely sir thank you yeah sure so those who wanted to enroll for this course journey i already pasted kumar sir number uh, 9701571581 and 8019524275 uh this is also his number only you can reach out to kumar sir and uh, anything related to course timing course content fees related anything you wanted to discuss you can discuss with kumar sir right now the session we are planning to have it by 9:30 pm to 10:30 pm ist corresponding times are there in the website itself i'll copy paste the website link also in the chat okay those who wanted to uh, take a look of it you can you can uh, note down that and this is a weekday session monday to friday we are going to have the session uh, weekend holiday okay and 15 plus hours of session we are going to have the session and all the sessions are actually recorded okay all the sessions are actually recorded i am going to share this recorded video in the youtube playlist url i hope yesterday's demo session is actually shared in the group itself so similarly every day session we will share it in the playlist url and we will uh, uh, i mean any time if you are missing the session also not a problem you can watch the video come back with your question we will discuss and then we'll get the clarity so that is how the entire session is actually uh, planned and designed and uh, anything that you feel like uh, which needs more clarity explanation please feel free to call me message me uh, we will discuss in a, in a detailed way uh, also okay so uh, industry best practices and interview questions uh, uh, certification questions all those things also we are going to discuss in our regular sessions okay so already we started with basic discussions and all but uh, the topic one probably I'll, i'll 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 start from tomorrow probably we are uh, little towards our end of the time so uh, i'll i'll start with what are apm tools uh, from uh, tomorrow guys okay so uh, those who wanted to enroll for this course journey please reach out to kumar sir for further information any question guys still now so sarvana will we have access to your num- uh, number or your uh, whatsapp etc are, also directly you are uh, part of the group right you are part of the group right already mukesh yeah yeah yeah, yeah my yeah. number is my number is there i i message now right session started from okay, my okay. number only Got it. yeah no you can reach out to me call me message me anytime okay yeah so uh, sure, but definitely yeah So thanks for joining guys thanks for giving me this opportunity from tomorrow i'll i'll start with our uh, day one, i mean day two topic which is what are apm tools and from there on we will uh, discuss everything in a detailed way guys okay uh, hey sarvana okay hi ram uh, hey yes sarvana uh, quick question so in terms of the timings um see uh, 9:30 uh, like right now if you're doing one hour session it's 9:30 pm to uh, 10:30 pm is correct yes yes correct correct ram yeah yeah so it's 9:30 is to 10:30 ist yeah correct correct ram is there any other hope my voice is audible to you yeah yeah i can hear you. is there any other time slot that are available or it's only this one that you have right now you you can you can message uh, kumar sir probably he'll work it out and then he will share the slot details and all to you okay Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah because sure. I. It is. Yeah. Sure. Your voice is breaking. By understand that you are you are you are looking out for a different time slot. Please reach out to Kumar sir. Yeah. Thanks for uh, giving me this opportunity, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, we will continue the same in the upcoming sessions as well. Thanks all. Bye bye.